The back's in really good shape on this one. Got those ones out now. Let me open this one. This one I have taped up for some reason. Oh, that's that cool Nokia one that I have. Uh, this is a Nokia 8801. This thing is cool. I like this phone. I do need to get a couple pieces. It's missing the lens right here, a battery, but it's so cool. I think this is ball bearing or something they're saying. Really made pretty decently. Really good build quality. Alright, so that pretty much sums up the phones and the bubble wrap. And now we get down to the phones. They're just sitting in the bottom. We have two Samsung My Shots. I already started them up, so I'm not going to start those ones up for you. But there's the black one I started up, if I remember right. Or was it dead? No, I charged it, so it was good. LG Venus. LG LX150. The LG Banter. The Sprint Music. Two LG scoops on Altel. Started the other one up, so we'll start those ones up, save time. We have three. Oh, throwing it. We have three uh, SCP-3200s, I think. These are two blue and then a black one. Yeah, SCP-3200s. I had one of these back in the day. I loved it. It's a really cool phone to have. So there's those, and these ones over here. We have two Kyocera KX1s, I think these are, the Soho's. That one's dead, this one's charged. A Samsung A870 on US Cellular. LG CG225. I think it's charged. Yep. The uh, AudioVox CDMA 8910, CDM, not the A part. Um, 8910. It's got charge in it, surprisingly. Here's another uh, LG Music. Um, this one is missing the battery. So I'm not gonna try to start it up because it'd be pointless. We have the LG CU500 with AT&T. Now this phone, i actually seen they used this one in the office in the US. Andy was using it when he was playing his ringtone. And Jim hid the phone up in the roof. This was the phone Andy was using. So it's pretty cool. Not that particular one, but it was the same model, I should say. Um, that's pretty cool. Here's a uh, Sony Ericsson Equinox. This reminds me of the car I had. I used to have a Chevy Equinox, so that's pretty cool. I think that phone works. Motorola E18 with Altel. Just want to shut some of these off. I think I'm going to die. Let me turn it back on. Sounds like the Motorola E18 is dead. Indeed it is, it says low battery. So I'm gonna turn it off, I need to charge it. No SIM card inserted on this one. This one just shut back off because it's dead. Alrighty, there's a lot of phones going on right now. Uh, Samsung Smooth on Altel. This is the uh, non-pink one, obviously it's a blue. I'm not gonna start it up because we've seen the other one. Um, Samsung, they'll tell me when I turn it on. It's the X506. LG 1400 with singular. Uh, 
All right, here we have a LG. Someone wanted me to turn them all on, so that's why I'm turning them on now. CU400. Oh, I thought I'd just tell the models because it takes so long, but people like that, I guess. So that's what we shall do. That one turns on. We got two Samsung Renowns. Um, there's two of them. One has a battery. The other one, I think, does two. Ivan Miro has the other one. I gave him one of them. Uh, Samsung uh, U520. Let me reply to this message real quick. All right, U520s on Altel should have a good battery in it. Indeed, it does. Here's a NV3. See, it works just fine. It's in blue. Verizon uh, Samsung Sway. Two Samsung M300s. I started up the other one, so I'm not going to start these two up. Here's my other LG Shine that is silver. I won't start that one up because the other two started. LG NV Touch. I'm going to start it up because we already started the other one. We have two Samsung Hue ones. I will start one of them up. We have a Samsung Trance with Verizon. The T3. 09 SCP 2700 on Sprint. Another Samsung M300. I have a lot of these ones for some reason. Another Samsung M3300 with Metro PCS. It does work. There's no battery. Nokia 5582. Indeed does work. Uh, power button's right here. It might be dead. Oh, nope. Still holding the charge because of Nokia. Um, Samsung T349. Indeed it does work if it's charged. And it's dead. Alright, so that's going to count all the info. So I guess I got a couple more over here. Snipe tripod. We got this one we can turn off. Uh, space bar back. There we go. That one works, as you can tell. This one works. Um, let's see. We got a whole bunch of V60 phones to go through. In our mobile wrap. So we have a V60 on Verizon in red. We have another V60, singular. These do have model numbers, but the batteries are just a pain to take off. I'm trying to save time. Now this is the color version, so this one is another different model number. Here is this one, a V60i. And then we have another Verizon model. I need to get an Altel one of these, so I need to see if I can find one on eBay and buy it. So I have an Altel one. So there's those. I guess I can start up one of them for you guys. This one should have power in it. Alrighty. So I'm going to pause the video, get these phones moved, and we will start again. I'm going to turn this one off. And give me one second, guys. Okay, guys, these are going to be phones that are in boxes. So it may take me a minute to get to them. I won't be starting them up because the batteries are out of them and all that stuff. Um, we have a Samsung A560 with Earthlink Wireless. It's brand new. Um, I was the one that actually opened that phone from it being brand new. So there's that one. Uh, let's see, we got 
Samsung Upstage from Sprint. We have a black one and we have a red one. So there's those two. Let's see, throw all these books and stuff back in. And then I have another box of Samsung Upstage phones right here that uh, I have a box full of them. Black one, red one. I mean, there's three of them down. Let me see. So yeah, three down each stack. So we got nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 of them here in this box plus the one in this one box right here 13 bubble wrap one is 14 we have another new one that's in the box 15 and then we have another one that's red in the box so 16. So I have 16 Samsung upstages. Three in boxes. One in really good condition with bubble wrap and the other three in boxes. There is a LG TP5250. If you want to see any of these phones, I've probably already done unboxings of them. So you can find those on my channel. Here is a Samsung PM8400. This one is with the packaging. This one has been updated, I'm guessing, because it does show the newer Sprint splash screen, which usually means uh, it's been updated through the computer or through the Sprint store or over there update or something like that. Here is a Samsung A900 in the box. Indeed it does work. All these box phones that work for the most part. If there's one that doesn't, I'll let you know, but they usually all work. Like I said, I've done unboxings on almost all of these except for a couple. I'm still working on doing them. Here is a LG VI 525. Does work. Here is a Motorola Crush for US Cellular. It does work. Motorola Razor V3 um, with the box AT&T. It does work. We got the new, well, recently new one. I haven't unboxed this one. The Samsung S or the Z400 it is missing the soft rubber touch as normal, but it does work. I will be doing unboxing on this one. I just haven't done it yet. Here's another phone I got recently. Um, sadly, it's missing the cardboard for the box. So the phone's just kind of thrown in there. It's the SCP 2400. I have one of these in black, and now I have this one. Indeed, it does work. Has the box, just doesn't have the plastic trays that everything sits in, so it's kind of just thrown in here, sadly. I prefer them to have the, the trays, but it is what it is. We got a Verizon. Is this Pantech or UT Starcom? I think it's a Pantech. Oh, let's take a look. There it is. It is the oh, it's a UT Starcom CDM 180. This one has um, a problem with booting up, sadly. Um, I cannot get it to stay on. It turns on, turns off, um, shows a weird message on the screen, and that's all I can get it to do. Here is the LG Voyager with the Verizon. I think that's the only carrier it came on. Need to be clean, it's a little dusty, but it does work. 
Here's the LG F7200 for singular wireless. The big old phone. And indeed it does work. Oh, we have a Kyocera 2135. It has the box, but sadly it does not have the uh, little packaging it sits in. Is a Verizon phone. Let's see what else we got. We have a Samsung flip shot on Verizon in black. Little thing it says, probably telling you to charge it. Typical charge time is within three hours and three hours and 30 minutes. Remove charge when complete. All right, there's that. So let's see, put this phone back in there. I don't have the owner's manual for this one, sadly, but everything else is complete for the most part. Here we got, let me slide these over here. We have a Samsung, where is the model number on this bad boy? SCHR 27O. I actually have one of these in red that we just done not that long ago. It was up there somewhere, uh, but this one does have a box. And is in really good shape. It is running a third party, unlike USA, it's running some third party. Here is a Blue Joy. I've done an unboxing of this phone, it's just an older phone. Uh, nothing special, really small box too. Pretty cool how small it is. I will show the box. Here it is in my hand. So, pretty small box. Pretty easy to put in my closet if you guys see my Instagram picture when I was organizing everything. Oh, uh, we got the Motorola. Um, where's the model on this box? It is the W385. Uh, soft touch is all gone, so I peeled it all off. Um, lots of glossy plastic. Phone works just fine. Let's go and put that back in there. Let's see what we got. A Motorola V190 on singular. And this one, I think the soft touch is came off, so I peeled it all off, and now it is black. It looks pretty cool. Um, I think it used to be soft touch black, but you know, they seem to have that problem where they like to come off. So, it's like the plastic degrades over time or something. Here's a Motorola Hint on Altel. Oops. I don't want to drop it, but there it is. Still in the wrapper, brand new. Does work. Um, I think that's about it. I think I gave one of these to Retrocom today. It was like an off-brand carrier. It was like Rebel Wireless or something. I have one of them, but I gave that to her, and then I kept this Alltel one that came with the box. And Alltel is my favorite. So putting that back in the box, we have a Motorola QA4, I think that's what it is, yeah QA4, I'm not going to take this one out of the package, so I'm going to drop it, but it is a slider phone, I do have an unboxing of these, like I said guys, if you want to see more in depth, um, there is unboxing videos and stuff like that on them. Now we have another Motorola V190, I'm pretty sure. I think this is just the silver one. Yep. Silver one. V190. Now I got a stack of phones over here. Next we have the, I haven't done an unboxing of this one, but the HTC Shadow 2. Um, I do need to do an unboxing of it. I have it fully charged now, but here it is. 
But yeah, I picked this phone up on eBay really cheap. Um, actually, I don't think it's a Shadow 2. I think it's just a Shadow, but it's technically the Shadow 2, if you want to call it that. Um, got that one brand new. Got that off eBay really cheap for what it was. Then we have my collection of Motorola Rockers Z6Ms. Here's one of them. This is the best shape one. And then in here, in the bottom of this box that has no accessories, I have all the other ones I have. So I have the uh, Z3, I think that one is. Z6M, um, two world phones. These are Z uh, Z6C, if I remember right. Another Z6M in orange. Another one and another one. So one, two, three, four. Let's see. Because I know this is a Z3, so it doesn't count as Z6M. So one, two, three, four, five Z6Ms and two Z6Cs in a US cellular box because I don't have any other accessories for it. I'm trying to find another Z6M with the uh, box and accessories, but until then, that is just the storage. So here we are on to the Altel phones. There is a lot of them. This one is a LG AX490. Has a box, but doesn't have the cardboard insert. The fast tap. Has a messed up charging port as well, but I can charge it with another LG phone and put the battery back in. Here we have a LG Glimmer. This one does work, has the box and everything. There it is. Um, it is brand new-ish. I think it's been used, but looks pretty brand new to me. It looks like it's been very well taken care of. Hasn't been abused since I've owned it, that's for sure. Here's a Motorola Razor V3A in black. Had a case on it um, when I got it off of eBay. The hinge is a little weird on it. It sounds like it's something's in there or some dust or something's in it. Um, here we got a SCH U420. With Altel. I do have one in the box somehow. These phones are really hard to find. And the minute I seen it on eBay, I picked it up. So there it is. Works just fine. Has the charger, the battery, all that good stuff in it. Owner's manual. Uh, we have a Motorola V262 in the box. An LG AX4270 in the box. Uh, Samsung N3300 in the box. Seems a little dusty. LG AX725 SV in a Altel refurbished certified box, reconditioned phone in the Altel certified box. So it's been repaired, it does indeed still work. Uh, let's slide that forward. We got the Piacera Blade in this big old box right here. I did do an unboxing of this phone, this one's pretty cool. Um, One of my favorite phones just because the way it looks. Here is the Samsung Altel Hue 2. In the box, does still work. And the model number on that is the R600 on that phone. The LG AX. 8600 in the box, really good shape. Can't go wrong with that. 
I don't see the orange manual though. I don't, oh, it does, it does have an orange manual. Oh. It doesn't have the orange manual. It's got the uh, updating software on your phone. So over the air update and cell top. So no owner's manual though, but that's all right. And then we also have the Samsung Moose, the SCHU706. This one has the charger and is in really good shape. As you can tell. And it does work. Here's the Pantech PN218 with Altel. A square looking phone, does work, it's pretty cool. Definitely like the design because it's different than what I've seen. But then again, flip phones were actually pretty innovative back then. Um, let's see, over here, Android phones, we have a Dura, a Doro Easy Phone, Phone Easy 410. That's stupid wording on these. Um, don't really like these phones, truthfully, but it's here and it has a box, so that's the only reason I have it. One of these days I may drop test it, I don't know. It's there. Not really my favorite phone. It doesn't even match the uh, box. I mean, items are different, so it kind of sucks too. I guess we are going to do. Oh no, actually, I got some more phones over there. I'm gonna grab. Give me one second. Let me go grab those. Alrighty, so finishing up on these ones, I totally forgot I had. Nokia 6620 with singular. Yeah, I got this from Retrocoms. Pretty cool looking phone. I do like that one. <laughs> Here is the Samsung SCH A975, if I remember right. Motorola i850. Oh, next tell power buttons down here, and it's dead. Pantech PN215. It might be dead, it looks like. Oh, there it goes, changed his mind. This is a pretty cool phone, it's a Motorola device. Motorola V600. Um, it is a all metal phone. It feels like. And the power button is on the opposite side of normal phones for some reason. No power on it. Probably dead. I do have a charger actually right here next to me that I've been charging some of these up as I go along. I'll plug it in just to have it charging. Here is a Katana, Katana DLX. Does have a battery and is charged. Got that phone from a phone lot. Here is an LG VX7000. It should have charge in it. Here's a Nokia 2760H. It's a T-Mobile device. It looks like it is dead. Oops. Looks like it is dead. Yep, it's dead, so that's great. those this one's dead sadly here is a Samsung R460 apparently the battery is in another phone because I don't have a battery in it but there it is here is another Sanyo Eclipse X don't have a battery for it but it does work Here's my other Samsung 
HR225. This is the one with the bad battery, so no power to it. Here's a Pantec CDM8975. I think I already have one of these uh, that we did almost in the beginning of the video, if I remember right. There's an LG VX9600. This is the Bursa. Which has no power, so it's probably dead. We have a Nokia 3120B with uh, singular. We have another Samsung Intensity 2 on Verizon. And then lastly, Actually. So I'm probably going to do the smartphones in a separate, like the uh, newer Android phones in a separate video. I think I'll probably do those. So here's this one. So let me pause, get these added up here to the stack of phones, and then I will do a... Alright guys, so here's all the phones I have. The stack of phones. As you can tell. So I don't know if someone's following along, we can count how many we have here. I still have some dead ones in the desk. So let's see, there's those. I still have all those back here in this tub that are broken. Those are broken. Those are each bag of those is a phone that's just been taken apart. Never been put back together. Let's see, we have some up here. This one works, it's just in really poor shape. This one's cracked, works still. This one's missing the whole screen. If you wear a pair of sunglasses, you can actually look at the screen on that. Some Android phones there. A lot of uh, Android and iPhone things there. No newer iPhones, because I hate iPhones, but I like the older ones. So, and here is all the phones that I have in the boxes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I mean, it took me about four hours, four and a half hours to make this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the next one.